Hey Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Vampir. Ja, in der letzten Folge haben wir zum Schluss ähm, gespeichert, schrägstrich geschlafen und da wurde uns gezeigt, wartet, dass Whitechapel, guckt mal, wir haben es geschafft, er ist nicht mehr kritisch, er ist bedenklich und da wir jetzt gerade so einen guten, halbwegs guten Lauf haben, dass ich noch mal mich um White Scheppe kümmern. Neuralgie kann ich nicht machen. Ähm Wie gesagt, ich gehe nochmal zurück und kümmere mich um die drei. Den kann ich nicht machen. Da müsste ich, glaube ich, nochmal zurück. Der stirbt mir aber fast weg. Oh, ich muss auch noch mal zurück irgendwann. Aber wir gehen noch mal zu White Chapel, wie gesagt, zurück. Das ist ja hier gleich um die Ecke. Und kümmern uns um die drei, die da Oh, ich will hier rein. Einfach nur in... Oh, lassen. Hat er was fallen gelassen? Ich... Egal. So weit Chapel und dann müssen wir ganz dringend... Sie ist gesund. Er hat Erschöpfungsprobleme, glaube ich. Lauf zu quatschen, ich will dir helfen. Don't you fear getting sick yourself? Faith, give me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. No doubt your faith will prevail, but let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity, my son. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Er ist erschöpft. Beide sind erschöpft. Ich möchte gerne handeln bei dir. You never lose your focus, do you? Right then. Show me what you have. Das brauchen wir. Dann sollte ich mal schauen. Wartet, wo ist denn? Hier auf jeden Fall nicht. Dann ist der Bezug. Warte. Halbwegs gefestigt. Hoffentlich. Regie, ich muss, glaube ich, noch mal ganz dringend ins Krankenhaus zurück bei uns. Wo ist... Ach, da. Erschöpfung. Ich hoffe, ich bitte, lass mich... Gut, da können wir die drei, drei auch noch heilen. Und 
ich denke immer die ganze Zeit, ey, es ist alles noch kritisch, aber wir müssen ja erstmal pennen gehen, bis sich da irgendwas verändert. Sei lieb. Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Ach, mein Gott, ich Goodbye, bin so nett. Mr. Peterson. Erholt sich. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I'd prefer you take a look at my stuff. I'd rather be rich and sick than the contrary. I don't quite agree, but I won't Alles argue klar. with you. Please take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Gut, das heißt, wir verziehen uns wieder. Ich müsste ja eigentlich speichern gehen, aber ich... Eine Ratte. Die Gute macht mir da drüben auch so ein bisschen. Die ist nicht gesund. Ich frage sie mal kurz. Hei, hei, hei. Oh, der wird mich sterben. Good evening, my Hi. dear colleague. You look ill, Miss Swanra. I wonder if your concoction will do the trick. I'm perfectly fine, thanks to my miraculous elixir. You, on the other hand, look pale and tired, Doctor. Es regnet die ganze Zeit. Gut. Goodbye, Miss Swanra. Perhaps we'll talk again. Lass uns abhauen. Wir wollen dementsprechend mal weiterkommen. Hier lang müssen wir. Oh Gott, meine Stamina. Das stimmt ja, da war ja was. Das hier ist noch bedenklich. Würdest du mich veräppeln? Oh Gott, es wird noch was. Naja, bedenklich. Oh, ja. Eigentlich müsste ich ja noch mal speichern gehen, oder? Human Aber blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. So, so. Kill it, boy! Was? Wie sieht ihr noch mal nicht an, bitte? Thank you. 
Oh Gott! Oh, ich hasse dich, Kollege. auf den anzuvisieren. Danke. Jetzt kannst du ihn anvisieren. Ey. Ab und zu ist die Steuerung ein bisschen doof, finde ich. Hat er hier irgendwas verloren? Ich war so schön hochgeheilt, ey. Wie ist er anstatt sich um die Uhr? Ruckel. Um die anderen mal zu kümmern? Nein, greift mich an. Hätte ich hier reingehen können? Hallo. Hier waren wir aber schon. Gut, dann wollen wir wieder zurück. Ich muss gerade müssen, glaube ich. Oh, ich glaube, wie ich sehe schon. Das altbekannte Krankenhaus. Es ist stabil. Habe ich denn noch Medizin? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. So, dann sind wir endlich bei uns wieder. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Sie erholt sich. Der hat Kopfschmerzen. Ich kann aber... Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I, I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. Look, we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Nie für alle. Fuck the wall, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the wall. Fuck them all. Muss ich jetzt? Ich gehe einfach mal hin und sage, hey, ich habe dich beim Knutschen gesehen. Äh, äh, doch, jetzt können wir mit ihnen reden. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss. But to me, it smells like the purest mountain air. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Verdammt! As a soldier, 
You're expected to kill the enemy to survive. Guilt is a powerful emotion and could lead to feelings of suffocation and oppression. My god, you're so wrong. Believe me, I would kill if it happened again. Violence is part of who I am. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. It's okay, hat keiner was dagegen. Noch nicht mal ich. Was? Goodbye, Mr. Touch. Try to take care of yourself. Wie kann, wie kann ich das lernen, dass ich Kopfschmerzen behandeln kann? I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. Ich bin auch ein paar Mal gestorben. Fand ich nicht so toll. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. Das dauert immer so lange, sie auszufragen. I fought in France too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. So, das haben wir. Was ist hier mit? Uh. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well... You know... I never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's also new to me. Egal was man sagt, es ist immer irgendwie doch falsch. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. 
You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald. He found me and saved me. Ja, das ist nicht so. Das ist eindeutig nicht schön. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Uh, da drin sind Hessen. Habt ihr das gesehen? Evening, Dr. Reed. So, nochmal ihn kurz ausfragen. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Ich will da rein. It's locked, all right. Oh, das sind so viele tolle Sachen. So, lasst mich mal nach oben. Ich will diesen Bezirk nicht stabil machen, sondern wieder gesund. Er sieht, er sieht auch nicht gut aus. Hey Doc. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. Cox! The sooner I'm able to leave this damn place, the better. I'll leave Gut. you for now, Mr. Cox. We gleden gleich zu Lady Ashbury, oder wie die Gute heißt. Ashbury hier besonders. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, geheilt. Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Good evening, Milton. Hätte Good evening, Doctor. Jetzt? Still trying to save lives. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Oh, das ist nicht wahr. I'll see you later. Yeah. I'm sure you say the same thing to everyone in town. Goodbye, Milton. So, wo kannst du sofort Medizin? Ähm... Gut, lasst mich mal kurz den Status. Erschöpfung, Erschöpfung, Erschöpfung. Kopfschmerzen. Wo ist denn... Was macht er da? You don't mind if I search your pockets. Do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. Don't you see, <laughs> no one has claimed your body, sir. So it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir. And I thank you for your generous donation. Kommt gleich mal Arsch schaue. It's locked, all right. Hi. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. Mm. 
You should show respect for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. Please show 100. me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Erschöpft. Wir müssen ganz dringend. Der gibt jetzt Blinden. Wie I und I. Wir gehen mal kurz in unser Zimmer und dann werden wir. zu Lady. Ashbury gehen. Oder wie die gute heißt. Ich habe aber kein... Oh. Kann ich wieder verwerten, ne? nicht alles machen, oder? Ups. Pass auf, das wird dann so ein großer Fehler sein. Helfen wir erstmal unseren Kollegen unten. Er ist auch erschöpft. Er auch. Sie auch. Nee, ja. Was ist mit Swansea? Geht's gut? Gut, gehen wir erstmal raus. Oh Gott, Ruckel. Damit der Bezirk wieder auf gesund geht. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. Tomorrow, more body. Gut, er heilt. Da hinten war aber noch einer. Und hier haben wir uns auch noch nicht groß umgesehen. Sollte ich vielleicht irgendwann mal machen. Ich bin ja die ganze Zeit nur im Krankenhaus gewesen. Na ja, war ja klar. You are Airport. Good evening, Mr. Albert. Evening, Dr. Reed. Gut. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yeah, smiling inside, Dr. Reed. Alice. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Er erholt sich. Die gute Dame auch. Die 
Braucht nichts. Erschöpfung eher da hinten. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Klappe. Du bekommst jetzt Medizin von mir. Aber erstmal lesen. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money, fame, or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. habe ich keinen Grund, mich vor ihnen zu rechtfertigen. Ich mache mal das Leben. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives and you know it. You see, that is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. Du bist ein Arsch. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Und du bist Arsch. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I am capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. Mach das schon. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Ach, geil. Oh Gott, er ist erschöpft. So viel Heilmittel habe ich gar nicht, oder? Good ich evening, Mr. Fitt. Good viel? evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Gut, Goodbye ich glaube, ich habe zu wenig gemacht. Von den Heiltränken. Ich habe zu wenig gemacht. Entweder habe ich jetzt noch einen oder ähm, kein mehr. Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No, I don't feel well actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Gut, wir müssen hier Goodbye, eigentlich auch noch sehr viel herausfinden. Herzschläge sind alle normal. Keiner betrügt hier. Keiner veräppelt. Fehlt nur noch er. Ich hoffe, dass ich. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Milton Still trying to save lives. Kann, ähm, do you need kann? any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Das Office habe ich keine. I'll see you later. Yeah. I'm es sure you say the same thing to everyone in town. Es tut mir leid, ich Goodbye, habe Mutt. echt mich ums oh, verdammt. Sorry Leute. Ich sollte mehr machen. Jetzt aber schnell. Wie kann ich oh.
Wie kann... Was war denn das für ein Geräusch? Dr. Reed. Naja, das will ich nicht lesen. Ich will durch die Tür. Ich habe alles für mich jetzt verschwendet. Wir gehen wieder runter, denn ich möchte auch äh, Lady Ashbury. Der Name ist Ashbury. Der Name ist komisch. Befragen und. Ich doch hin. Komm ich da nur hin? Und das Strahleherz hin. Oh, das ist nicht wahr. Das nervt, ja. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives? Yeah. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. Diesmal habe ich was für dich. Sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks anyway. Goodbye, Milton. Ich glaube, ich habe soweit alle. Wissen. Doof ist, dass man sich nicht so weit von ihnen entfernen darf. Bescheuert. Gut, wir gehen endlich zu der wunderschönen kleinen Lady. Mal sehen, was sie da hinten macht. Was macht sie da? I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. Ten Ende sind wie Vampire. Also war der Vorwurf wahr? 
So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Also, jetzt können wir fragen. Okay. Ähm. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Na ja, ich weiß ja nicht. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Okay, also wurden wir von einem hochrangigen Vampir gebissen. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. So, so. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Oh, sieht die böse aus, oder? Wie die mich anguckt. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. Okay. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. 
Ja, und? Es hat mir jetzt nicht gesagt, ich muss ihn trinken. Ja, wie weit denn? I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. No, a vice. Good. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Also, my guess an Ekon. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. That is so good. Um, we quetschen die Gute einfach mal aus. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely, it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seems they have been recruiting. So, so, good. We have noch zwei Fragen an Sie. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember... Even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Oh, ich glaube, wir haben die gute durch. I bid you farewell for now, my lady. 
I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Ja, ihr Lieben, ich würde sagen, ich mache hier eine kleine Pause. Es äh, war sehr viel Stoff von der guten Lady. Und ich würde sagen, vielen Dank fürs Zusehen und bis zur nächsten Folge. Ciao, ciao.